Hi, Brothers Sewing and Crafting family. It's Angela Wolf, and we have the brand ambassadors and a special guest taking over the Brother page today. We're on the Brother Facebook, YouTube page. If you've never been here before, say hi, say where you're from. We always love to hear that. I think this week we've covered the entire globe, judging by your comments, which is awesome. So today's show, we are going to finish sewing our apron. If we don't finish, I gave, I gave it kind of a time... If it goes too long, we're going to finish it next week. But today, technically, we might finish the apron. And at the end of the show, we have a big giveaway. Brother has given me 10 sewing machines, as you know, and we've given away four. So we have another one to give away today. That drawing will be at the end of the show. And today, we're also giving away uh, a membership for the Fashion Sewing Club. So good luck, everyone. That's at the end. If you leave a comment today, you're entered as well. So uh, let's not make the girls wait any longer. We've got uh, here... You've watched Molly all week. Hey, Molly. Hi. How's it going? Just fine. Good. We have Cindy Hogan joining us. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? Hi, Cindy. And we have Joanne. Hey, Joanne. Hey, everybody. Joanne Banco, another brother brand ambassador, which we have seen you um, on Saturdays, especially with our It's So Easy episodes. So fun. Welcome, girls. This is going to be a fun day. So today, <laughs> I can see everybody rolling in. Nobody's saying that they can't hear, which is a bonus. And uh, <laughs> I will back. <laughs> Hi, what's up today? We are finishing our apron sew along today. And while I'm sewing and Molly's sewing, Joanne and Cindy uh, are going to share. Well, Joanne has a lot of aprons behind her. You can see that. Cindy's going to give us a few tips for adding a little bling. And they're also going to be fielding your questions while we're sewing. So we are doing a group effort today. And don't worry. I'll let you know when we go from one project to the other. <laughs> Just in case. So, Molly, what do we have going on today? Where, first off, what do I have to sew today? Well, we're going to start by sewing the zipper to our cash pocket. And then we're going to pretty much assemble the entire apron if we have time. If we have time. Uh, Joanne, I, I cannot wait to see your aprons, by the way. I can see those behind you. Yep, lots of them. I had more than I thought I had when I started digging for them. <laughs> That's really good. All right, so we're going to start. I'm going to start with the pocket, and then I'm going to take a break and pause and bring you girls up to show off your aprons while I'm sewing. Does that sound good? Sounds sure. Sounds like a plan. All right, sounds like a plan. But we can still hear you even if we can't see you. So just so you know, <laughs> uh, if you guys are making comments and saying hi to Joanne and Cindy, they're going to say hi to you, even though you can't see them. So let's bring up Molly first so she can. Do you need to go to your table or are you just going to walk me through it? I need to move to my table. OK. Let's let Molly go move to her table. There you go. Go ahead. <laughs> so, uh, Joanne, uh, by the way, how many aprons have you made of Molly's? Um, I've actually made just one, just one. Um, are they all gifts? No, I made 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 one for myself. Actually, oh, and then you have other aprons. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. I got some. I got some different techniques. I thought I'd show you today. That's awesome. Kelly says hi. By the way, hey Kelly. <laughs> oh, a lot like of people the avatars. I I don't know where they've gone and gotten them, but I think those are fun. Yeah, that's a new thing. Everybody's doing it. <laughs> I know. I saw that this week. <laughs> I uh yeah. <laughs> I was afraid what mine was going to look like. I left it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Caroline. <laughs> I know I miss seeing the real faces, though, because it's easier to. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's easier to All tell right. who's who. Molly, let's see. I'm going to bring you up here. Uh, what do you got for me? Okay. Well, I laid out our lower pocket here on my table. And the first thing okay. we're going to do is um, start with our zipper. I want you to lay your zipper down, face down. See, here's the top of my zipper. It looks like it's a metal zipper, but it's not. It's actually nylon. Face down, centered on the piece with your zipper pull at the right. Well, I guess it wouldn't matter. It's up to you which side you want to put that on. And then we're going to stitch along the top here, leaving about an eighth of an inch below your zipper teeth. And this is going to vary for from one person to the next, depending on which zipper you have. And I wanted to let you know that I did not use interfacing. When I stitched this, it stitched perfectly. So um, interfacing, use as needed, you decide, but I didn't need it. And so after, we're also going to put down, we're also gonna put this uh, cash pocket lining down. 
This is face down. The 10 and a half inch edge is along the top. Okay. And um, so basically this is all going to get sewn down. But I do this first and then install this lining because then I can follow my stitching that I've already done without messing up the line that ends up right below my zipper teeth. Okay. okay. I found a black zipper, as you guys saw at the end of the day, and a pink one. And then the cash pocket is, let's see, which piece? That's piece, piece H, and you want the 10 and a half inch edge at the top. You know, I know I have that here. By the way, yesterday when I was, I had my phone in here because I was making sure everything fit. I got halfway home. Oh, <laughs> no. My phone. Yeah, I was still in my apron that's unfinished. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so go across here. I'm going to get this ready. Um, when I go to sew, I'll bring you back on the screen, but I'm going to, um, I need to find my little coin piece. It was here. I probably walked around with it. So let me just bring up, I'm bringing up, let's see. Hey, Joanne. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go look for my pieces. And while I'm doing that, why don't you show off some of your aprons? Okay, sure. Let me start with um, Molly's apron. Okay, I'm going to stand up here. So hopefully you can see it. Get this unhooked. Okay, so just so you can see the whole thing, I'll start from the bottom and I'll go slowly to the top there. It's really cute. Okay, hopefully you can see it pretty good. Um, this was actually featured in Designs and Machine Embroidery magazine a I while just, back. So way, if anybody which, subscribed which, to that. Which um, is no affiliation to no Brother. No affiliation, right? no, but we had um, a great connection with Brother with mm -hmm. that article because we had uh, a free embroidery design. The beautiful sewing lady here was a Brother free download that uh, we collaborated with and connected that to the article. So I'll be posting all of this. So if anybody's interested, um, you can sign up on my website, letsgosew.com and get notified or just pop on there over the weekend. It'll be probably posted on Sunday and I'll have all the, all the links for you to be able to download your, your own little sewing lady and actually the packet that goes around it. So I'll show you just a little bit more on that. And then you tell me when you're, when you're ready. That's okay. That's awesome. So they got to see a preview of something that hasn't even been out yet. No, actually it was published previously. It was oh. published previously, but I'm revamping it so we can do it as a download for everybody that's watching today. Oh, so okay. They'll be able to um, download the design directly from Brother for the sewing lady. And then what I did is I digitized a pocket. So you can see what I did is I added my logo to the, to the lady. And then I added uh, candle wicking stitches. And I've stitched it out in my 8x8 eight eight inch Brother hoop. I love this 8 inch square hoop. And then I've taken a second piece and layered it over the top and we all know in the hoop stitching by now because you've been watching a lot of that this week and I would tape this in place so when I'm done I would end up with you can kind of see the wrong side there was the stitching an actual pocket piece so I've trimmed all the excess away to give me some seam allowance left a seam allowance on the bottom and then I'll just roughly turn it right side out real quick so that you can get an idea I think you're going to know what I did here in just a minute. I have to go look at Molly's again. Mm, I okay. think I got So again, I just kind of a rough, can you see that? Pretty good. And that would, you know, I would fold that raw edge under in the bottom. Obviously, I would press, push all of that out and then press that edge really good. And then that is actually added to the bib as a pocket. So it's just laid down and then top stitched around. That's great. I got all That's the instructions for that. Molly, do you remember when 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 we um, featured this in the article? I did an article uh, about Molly. I'll link to that too in the whole I sure do. Um, piece and tells a uh, tells a lot about Molly's history and all the things that she's done. And we have the apron featured there too. So, are you ready to go back to what you want to do, Angela? Or you want me to tell a couple more details here? 
Uh, just I have a question for Molly. So Molly, okay. uh -huh. I, this out. I found my piece. So this goes right side down like this, and then I stitch across here, right? Right, and you want to be about an eighth of an inch from your zipper teeth when you okay. do that. Put this on and do the same thing. Yeah, because it's easier to see what you're doing if you if you do the zipper first by itself. Okay, so first I'm just going to sew this real quick, Joanne, live, and then I'll bring you right back up. Okay. Oops. Here we go. Now this camera has been acting very odd today, so if it blacks out, I'll just fix it. But I think this camera doesn't like to work on Fridays. <laughs> oh, it's very clear. All right. So I have my zipper foot on and my teeth. This is off the, off the edge, right? Correct. All right. Make sure my foot is in the right spot. Yeah, you know, this fabric I'm using is almost like a, uh, not canvas, but it's kind of heavier like canvas. So I did not add interfacing either. So we'll see what that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's cute. Great. Okay, now I just put this piece on. Um, Face down. Make sure I got the right end. One size longer, it looks yeah, like. That's, yeah, the more narrow, the narrow side goes at the top. Okay. We'll try that. This will create now, the way, cash pocket. Just so you guys know, the zipper tape is right here, and I don't want to stitch through that, but my zipper foot glides right along the top, so I can I don't have to worry about it. That's why a zipper what I did, foot Angela, I turned it over and just stitched on top of the stitching I did at first. Oh, because I could see that. Well, let's see but, then. Oh yeah, whoa! We don't want to do that. Look at how crooked my stitches are. <laughs> <laughs> it really. <laughs> it's okay. not. It's not a big deal. <laughs> well, we're going to give it a triple stitch then, because I got to stretch this. <laughs> That's what I get for using white uh, thread, right? Yeah, you can see all the mistakes. But it looks great, and it really won't matter. Joanne, does this remind you of uh, It's So Easy TV when we're live? And then I'll say, oh, like, oh, yeah, sure does. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so here's my, is that right? OK. Yep, that's exactly right. So what we're going to do is flip this cash pocket around to the back like this. All right, let me see you. I think I'm going to bring you up, and I think I can bring all of us over. up. There's Cindy too. Okay, show me again. So here's what we just did. Okay. So flip it around to the back. And what you want to do is press, when you get a chance, press this down. Okay. That creates the front and part of the zipper pocket on the back. Oh, okay. Okay. And then will it stitch it to the zipper right here then? No. No. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I can't really see what you're doing. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> Let me go over here and on my table so you can see. And uh, Cindy and Joanne, you can just laugh at me. It's okay. I was right? going to say just live. That's live and uncut. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what our sewing rooms are like. <laughs> okay, so Molly, just to be clear, I sewed this to here. And there's my zipper, so I go to the, the wrong side, right? No, no, just stay on the right side. And okay. let that hang. Let that hang. Okay. Because now what we're going to do is get piece G. You need the both pieces of G. You have a front fabric and a lining. What does G look like? Uh, it's a rectangle. It's about 10 and a half inches wide by two and a quarter, I think. Oh, for heaven's sakes. I got to quit walking around with this fabric. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you. Do you have anybody to want to organize my, I need those letters that you have that are all taped. <laughs> <laughs> Angela, I'll make you some and send them to you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Joanne, 
<laughs> you take the show away for a minute. I'll be okay. right back. Sure thing. All right. So I'd love to show you a few more a few more details on this. So first of all, you could just see just I mean, everybody loves this apron, right? It is just so great. Look at those pockets on the on the bottom. Those are brother red work designs. And those are, let me get it straight there for you. Um, there's a, a whole series of designs that are called red work designs that are on the Brother iBroidery site. So www.ibroidery.com. That's where you find the, the Brother download. So the sewing lady will be free. And then if you want to add any of these other designs, you can purchase those directly on the Brother iBroidery site. So another really fun thing with this, let me take it off. Oh, I just tightened it up too tight. That's the great thing about these adjustable, um, these sliders though, they really make it easy for you to customize it to your own particular size. Oops, of course, lost my earbud there. I'm gonna do too many things at once. So I just wanna show you the uh, trim that I did on there. You can see where those, uh, Hammer, get a little. Those dots That's so are pretty. Those are candle wicking stitches. Beautiful candle and wicking. Yeah. So Cindy probably recognized them. I added the candle wicking stitches on the pocket from P. actually Design. created that in PE Design. Yep, sure did. But the uh, same candle wicking stitches are built into several of the different Brother Machine models, and that is a really fun way to to accent. Uh, something like this in particular, because you, you got a lot of those band areas where you just have straight, you know, straight strip of fabric. And when nice. you stitch a little bit of trim and then a little bit of decorative stitching along with it, you got a good looking, good looking piece there. That's really cute, Joanne. So let me Very, turn down right. Thank you. All Which right. Way? So we're switching, I'm just going to ask Molly because I'm going to keep sewing. Hey, Molly, I got my piece. I found okay. it. Okay. Do you, you should have two pieces. One is the front <laughs> and one is the lining. They're the same size. Okay. Never mind. Joanne, it's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm back. All right. So anyway, you can see I also stitched the uh, pocket spacing with those candle wicking stitches and then outlined them just with a simple, simple straight stitch. And then of course I have my my business card pocket with my business card in there. That is so cool. I just love this apron. I mean, it is just, it doesn't, I don't think I've ever seen another pattern that was as fabulous as, as Molly's apron pattern. So I know a lot of you had a Thank lot of you. fun making that this week. So Joanne, um, they want to know what you did to stiffen your pockets. I probably, uh, you know what? I don't, I didn't do anything on that. Um, I didn't, I didn't do anything that is stitched through two layers of fabric because the pocket is two layers folded and then the layer of cotton for the apron. So that gave you three layers of three layers of cotton. But if you need more stabilization, just put tear away stabilizer underneath. And that way, while you're stitching those decorative stitches, that'll um, give you a good backing. And then when you're done, you can tear the whole thing away. Okay. Mm -hmm. And eyebroidery designs are only in PES format because those are brother Brother Designs, it's a brother download site. So you would need uh, conversion software in order to, uh, you know, convert those if you have a different. <laughs> you guys are format. making my day. All right, so <laughs> Molly, I have two pieces. Okay, let's go. Let's go. All right, the front piece goes face down, centered over that lower pocket that we did previously. All right. And then it'll be stitched with the zipper foot along there, just like we did on the bottom. But if you'll notice, my fabric is an extension of what I had down here. So I have to be really careful and make sure my stripes line up. So I'm going to double check before I do my stitching. But You're in a dance over there. <laughs> yeah. I'll try, I'm I'll try. I can hardly get my pieces together, forget the stripes. <laughs> <laughs> she so I can cut everything. I after take you do that, down. I'm sorry. What? So that so then after we stitch that on, we're gonna take this lining piece and stitch it on the back side. It, this this will be right sides together, like this. Okay. So I see the one piece. Do it one more time. Okay, this is piece goes on the front, and uh -huh. then your lining piece is gonna get sewn back here. 
Okay. So basically, this is going to make the top of the pocket. That'll go up, and this will go up. Oh. And that'll create the top of the pocket. Oh, that makes total sense. Okay, I got it. And then the other lining is just hanging down. Correct. We're not done with that yet. Oh. So also at the same time as you, Angela, so I can show you the next step. Okay, that sounds good. So I will go get this and take it to the sewing machine. And uh, I'm not <laughs> showing you my facial expressions at this point. But <laughs> I think I've got this correct. So oh, I better show you, Molly, just to make sure, because I'm not ripping anything out today. Friday's not my day. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's my zipper. I've got this other lining just down, out of the way. Uh -huh. This one goes wrong side against the zipper edge, and this one goes right side up against the zipper edge, and just stitch it like that? Exactly like that. Perfect. All right. I got it. All right. I'll show you guys sewing the zipper real quick. Just briefly. <laughs> All right, hold on a moment. Cindy and Joanne, you guys can answer questions for people if you can see them okay. Yeah, anybody shoot them at us. I see a few comments here. Um, somebody asked where the pattern was available and it looks like Kelly put Kelly Smith put a link in there for everybody. Molly, can you talk? I can. Okay. Can you hear me? Uh huh. Yep. Can hear you good. Okay. So your your apron is available where the pattern? Uh, MollyMadeDesigns.com. Okay. Because we might and have some people just joining today that maybe weren't with you the rest of the week, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. She even um, she put it on sale for everybody too. So just till the end of the week. So wow, which, wonderful. Because like, I know some people are just using any pattern, but those, you know sometimes we like to sew along with exactly the same. Well, you know, the it's great thing is until Monday. Yeah. And anybody's oh, going to be able to go back and look through these, uh, through these videos and see the steps for cutting out all those pieces. I mean, that's like a, that's like getting a video tutorial for free. Oh, I know. I actually posted this on my blog too, with every single video so they can easily go back if they couldn't navigate. I'm going to get a little closer to the zipper. Wow. Wonderful. I'm just a little picky. I think I'm the only person that loves sewing in zippers. My favorite is an invisible zipper though. I know. I love I love sewing zippers too. We have so many different zipper feet available too for us now with uh, you know the different okay. ones that brother makes. We got an invisible we got a concealed zipper. There's the lining. We got a regular one and then we have a new one too, a new flat uh, narrow based zipper foot. Has anybody seen that one? I oh, have. Yeah. That is a good one. Actually, I have an apron I'm going to show you that I used that on. I think I got it. So am I supposed to press it? Yes, press, press. I love pressing. Press, press, press. Hey, jo Joanne, I see that you said your internet might be bad. So don't worry. I know that everybody in the world's online right now. But if cool. you have solar internet and it uh, buffers, when you go back to watch the replay, it's usually much better. So just so you know. <laughs> All right, it's looking great. I'll go press. What else is next? Uh. After pressing, we're going to put the business card pocket on. Okay. I'm going to go press. <laughs> Cindy, you got your uh, bling? Yep. Oh, well, I'm going to let you. Why don't you take over for a moment and show some bling? Okay, we will do. Flip it All over right. to my other screen, please. You want your other? Yep. All right, hold on. There you go. Oh, there's bling. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I'm going to show you again. part of the rhinestone starter kit. There, you get rhinestone material, which is the black stuff. And what rhinestones does is it basically creates a template for you to throw the rhinestones into and then transfer it to your, um, whatever you're planning on putting it on, in this case, an apron. So let me pull this away. And I have some cut here somewhere. So basically, it gives you a template. Y'all see my little template here? And you take that template and you throw your rhinestones onto it. And then let's see if you can see those. I guess I should have picked pink or black. I'll go with black next time. But it basically allows you to lift it. So I've got one cut here for us so that we can play. And it's kind of like ripping off a Band-Aid. One of the things for your on your scan and cut, you want to set it up to half cut. Okay. 
That's real important because you don't want to cut through the backing of this. And then you're going to rip the Band-Aid off. All right. And if you didn't get all of your heart, all of the little dots off at one time, you can, there's some tricks to this. I take paper tape or the leftover material that I've cut away and lift them up because I actually tried to make sure that my stones had my holes had cut real well. And then I, um, so by doing that, I didn't allow myself to be able to rip off the band aid as well. You can poke them, you can pick them up with the tape and you'll notice the tape sticks to the, cause this is a sticky material and it basically will stick and lift up those holes. Oh, that's cool. That's way faster than the way I did it last time. What'd you do the last time? Mm, we won't go there. <laughs> it, right. So I'm actually going to act like those are all out and we'll just use one of these others because I don't, don't want to sit there and take all that time for you guys to have to watch that. That's kind of like watching paint dry. There is this little backer board that comes in the software in the kit and you can basically stick your templates to it. You want to make sure you do it on the shiny side, not on the flat side. Flat side, it'll stick for life. The shiny side, it won't. You can leave it on this and, and use that as your backing. But if you want to and you want them to stick a little bit better, use another piece of the backer of the um, rhinestone flock material. And then you take your stones and I tell people the more the better because they have to rub together. Okay. And these are the ones I'm using right now are the ones. These are 10 millimeter stones. Uh, 10 SSs, I guess I should say, which is what? Three millimeters? Yes. That's a lot of stones on there. I just know what would happen. <laughs> well, notice I'm doing it inside the box lid. Oh, the box lid is so clear. It looked like it went right on the table. And I'm thinking, boy, you are good, Cindy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do it on the box lid. And then you take them and you rub them around. Do a light with the brush that comes in it. Just do a light brush. And then move away the excess once you've oh got gosh, all in there. Don't, Peg says, don't sneeze. <laughs> it's like magic the way they just fall in place, though, right? The way they should be. It, yeah, it's, it's so, you know, once you see how this works, it takes all the fear out of it. And then brush the rest of them away. All right. After you've done that. There's transfer tape that comes in the box with it. Cut you a piece that's about the size of what you've got. Peel it off, peel the top of it off. And I usually fold it in half like this so that I don't lift them up accidentally and lay it down and smooth it. And I, if you're not paying attention and you're paying attention to the camera, you will actually pick them up when you're not trying to. <laughs> Once you've got them lifted up, you lift them up, put them back on your transfer tape, and voila, you have the thing. Okay. Wow. That's so awesome. Oh, that's it's pretty. Not, it's not intimidating. It's not hard. If you do this with a regular home iron, I will tell you that you want to press it from both sides. Press, don't iron. And you want a hard surface underneath it. That's a good tip. Peg wants to know, do they all fall the same way, not half, half down? When you brush it, that's kind of what pushes them in place. Yeah, when you brush the stones on it, I'll do that one more time here. And see, I'm just dumping them down in there. And then I'll put them back in my little container. Oh. You don't want to lose any. Those are precious jewels. They are <laughs> precious jewels. And then you just pour them right back in the container. Take your template and put it back in there and dump them back down. April says you make it look so easy. Yeah, you do. And then you just kind of spread them out. Now, I am not pushing on this brush. I am lightly brushing it, not smushing it down. That is kind of the key to making them bump in. And as you knock them together, they will knock up right side up. So that's why I tell you to put more stones on there than you actually need because you have a better chance of them landing right side up. And you can use tweezers to put any leftovers in if you want to. Peg wants to know, so the rhinestones melt when you iron them. Well, the rhinestones don't melt, but the, the, glue. Glue, the glue does. And then you're ready to use your transfer tape. And you can bling anything up. 
there is there are quite a few designs that come in with that kit so you can flip me over the other way okay well that there's one's quite a few designs that fit, come in with that kit that allow you to use just pre-made and what i did there was one that's in the software itself i have used um the rick rack there's you know you've got trims that are built into the canvas workspace software you can, if you have the rhinestone kit, you can actually turn that into bling as well, which is what this little template here is. That was one of the trims that basically I turned into bling. And so you could run that instead of doing the candle wicking stitch and stuff that Joanne did, you could just bling across your trim. Yeah, great idea. That is a great idea. <coughs> I just choked on my tea. <laughs> I wasn't laughing at you, by the way. <laughs> um, so much. I was making sure I had good tea for my next sewing project. Um, my sister just texted and said she needs, she's flashback to the 80s. We need some bling. The 80s are in right now, Julie. Yes. My mother used to wear blinged shoes. Oh, wow. I love it. She was ahead I, of her time. <laughs> I tried to bling my pants. And uh, Wynn said I wasn't allowed to get on the boat with it because I was going to mess up the... <laughs> <laughs> the canvas. So I love bling. I don't care. Okay, Molly, before uh, I'm going to have uh, the girls show some more patterns, but you got to uh, tell me what I got to do next. I'm okay. here with you. I skipped ahead when I said business card next. We're going to finish this cash pocket first. So okay. flip over to the back. Okay. Take this piece that you, this piece I remember, H or whatever it was, fold it up to the top. So it's uh -huh. matching the top fabric you have there and press. So now you have your cash pocket, but we need to close out, close off the sides. So oh. you're just going to go to your sewing machine and stitch a straight line about a half an inch on each side, all the way up as far as you can until you get to the zipper. Okay. And I, I usually stitch a little bit onto the zipper tape. And then after that zigzag to secure that fabric. So you never get a hole in your pocket. And then we're going to baste along the top. And then we're ready for the business card holder. Okay, so I see that I either used the wrong edge of your pocket <laughs> or I cut it the wrong measurement. So my pocket is going to be, I'm not doing this over. So my pocket you know what? is That's okay. a little bit shorter. It's okay. Good. It really is. Okay, no meltdowns <laughs> happen in here, but this nope, is how nope. you make so my pocket's just going to be like a half an inch shorter, but the good news is that I did cut the part, this part here, I'll press it so you can see now. So this part is fine. It's this part that I either put on backwards or it's wrong. So I'm going to stitch up here and my pocket's going to be a little bit shorter. It just means I don't have enough cash. So now when I stitch this, I'm not going through the zipper, so I don't have to worry about moving my zipper pull, right? Right. You're not going to go through the zipper. Just go as close as you can until you get to the zipper teeth. All right, hold on. Let's go sew. <laughs> Literally, Joanne, right? Let's go. <laughs> My favorite saying. <laughs> I'm gonna mute myself and stitch mine too, okay? Okay, you're leaving us? <laughs> well, you won't be able to hear me. Okay. Well, if I screw up, be sure to yell something, all right? So, Marsha, um, you don't need the rhinestone kit to be able to cut the little holes, but in order to create the little holes to cut, you would need the rhinestone kit or purchase a design that is a rhinestone design. What else we have here? I like that 80s because all the hairdressers are closed and we have big hair. Yes, <laughs> it's time for a haircut. Isn't that the truth? Um. Laurel, yes, I used Canvas Workspace to make my bling designs. I've also used my BES4 Power Pack 2. So that is something that you, if you've got Power Pack 2, you could do that instead of the rhinestone kit. Yeah, the brush that comes is, is basically a um, paint type brush, one of those flat paint type brushes, but it comes in the kit, in the rhinestone kit itself. And the rhinestone kit comes with that activation to activate it on your Canvas Workspace. Hey, Molly, is it okay if I just baste all three of these pieces together on the side just so they uh, stick together? I think she's muted. That's right. Oh, she went yeah, away. Yes. She left us. Absolutely. Totally. Oh, absolutely. Okay, thanks. 
<laughs> Good answer. That's the answer you wanted to hear, right? <laughs> I know. I was like, wait a minute. Where did my teacher go? <laughs> uh, Julie wants to know where Molly, I guess, has a purple cutting mat. I didn't even notice it was purple. She wants to know where you got it. Um, but I we can't I can say, say brands here. Show, so. but if, yeah, but just if you want to um, send me a message. Molly. Yeah. Send Molly a pop, private message so on much. that one, Julie. Yeah. All right. So since mine's shorter, I just realized one iota of a little something I got to do. I'm just going to stitch this together because it's shorter at the end, just so nothing comes out of my pocket. If this Make is it my work, Angela. Make it work. Make it work. All right. So my cash pocket is just a little bit short, but I had to attach that there. I could have gone closer to the edge, I suppose. There. I'll do that. So there's over. a will, there's a way, right? So always, a way to, always a way to fix it. I'm going to base my shorter pocket just closer to the edge and then base all three layers together. Now I'll base. Okay, Molly, I have a feeling that this apron is going to take all next week. <laughs> it might not. It might not. It just this. This is just a tricky part, but it's. Yeah, but you know what? It's, it's so great to, to sew along with you because other people that are going to watch this back and play, they can say, "Oh, wait, wait, I did it wrong, or I did it right." And so there's my pocket. All right, let me see what the other girls are doing. Sometimes it's knowing what to do, and sometimes it's knowing what not to do. It really helps. I think the knowing what not to do is even better. <laughs> All right, so I'll take Molly. Molly, you just yell when you're ready again. So uh, yes, Ryan C. is so stone adhesive is washable, but you don't want to put fabric softener in with it. And I would not dry it in the dryer. Oh, there you go. Well, you know what, though, yeah. Molly? Um, Emily said she has thrown hers in the dryer on the low, 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 low. Okay. And she said she hasn't had any problems, mostly with the vinyl, but she said she hasn't had any problem with rhinestone. So I think it just depends. Yeah. What Vinyl I have no problem with. Rhinestones, I have had a few lift off. Now, I've put replacements in there. Yeah. So um, not a big deal. I agree. So, uh, Joanne, you got any more aprons for us? Until sure. I get what sure do. Okay, this one, see, I'm going to try to stand up high enough so you can see this one. Woo. Oh, here, I'll bring you up. There you go. Oh, All that's right. cute. Can you see it? I got to get back further. All right, this Wait, is a garden apron, and this was featured on, get over the other side of my way. This was featured on the Brother blog a while back and also featured on It's So Easy TV. So, you can find this two ways. You can find the written instructions, and then you can also find the, the video on it. And what's unique about this, is it's a little hard to see because it's tone on tone, but it's super easy to make because this um, just sews like a rectangle, and then uh, this piece flips up to form the pocket. But what I did is I used that nifty uh, narrow-based zipper foot to sew ribbon trim that actually created this open pocket. So if you're working out in the garden and you maybe got your cell phone with you and you don't want to worry about losing it in that hole you're digging for the tree you're planting, <laughs> put it in your pocket, zip it up, and you won't have, have any worries. So And it's again, cuter than a fanny pack. <laughs> it is, absolutely. <laughs> and, you know, this could be made in cotton if you wanted to and made into a kitchen apron, a cooking apron, a crafting apron, whatever you want. I just thought it would be kind of fun to uh, make it out of ripstop nylon, which is uh, water repellent, because when you're working outside, a lot of times you're, you know, you're getting sprayed with water and, and you don't want to get all wet and the dirt just rolls right off of it. So that's a good idea. Fun to make. Yeah. Very fun. Very fun to make. All right, Molly, what do you got for me? Okay. Some people asked if we were, if I, if you told me to zigzag down the sides, which I did not, and I'm not going to, but if I, would you okay. finish these edges? I only do it because it's the last chance you'll ever have to make sure that doesn't get a hole in it, you know, when you're sticking things in there. But it's fine. You don't have to zigzag. Okay, but I'll zigzag here. Tell me what's next. I'll zigzag okay. while I. Okay. And you baste it along the top, right? Uh, no, I baste it on the sides, but I could baste it along the top too. But they're pretty okay. much together, really good. Okay. So 
we're going to put the business card pocket on next. But we need to okay. get this out of the way so we don't sew it. So I'm just pinning it to the top so I don't accidentally sew it. And, and you're then, on. So you're pinning that on the back side to get it out of the way. Right. I'm on the back side, pinning the cash pocket up out of the way. Okay. And then I go to the front side and decide where you're, you want your business card pocket. Choose a place. And when I have more time, I use some fabric glue and put some glue in the center just to hold it because I don't want it to shift. And then, okay. and then you're going to top stitch just a rectangle. It's going to go along this line that you drew across the top, down each side and along the bottom. And that'll hold your business card pocket on. Okay. I haven't added a snap to it yet. I have to find my snaps, but for now, I think That's I okay. can sew it on. I just have to find it. Well, this one's only, yeah, usually you don't have the snap on yet, but I just happen to on this one. So here we go. Does that look about good right there? Sure does. And I just stitch just along here. Right. Right into that fold where your flap comes down and all around the edges, about an eighth of an inch from the edge. All right. Let's go to the machine. Hold on a second. You might not see the stitching very well on this because I'm using white thread, but you'll get the idea. So I just want to make sure that my pocket doesn't cover up these pockets. That'd be bad. Can I answer a question real quick? Because right. I see Catherine's asking um, what the site again was for the embroidery file. For the top pocket, it's going to be posted on my website, Catherine. That would be letsgoso.com. And if you want to sign up for my email, then I'll notify you when it comes out. But otherwise, you can just uh, pop on and look at the website. It should probably be by Sunday afternoon. And then don't forget the rest of the designs that coordinate are on the Brother Eye Embroidery site. So hopefully that answers your question. Button and just, just FYI, the black button trick to get over the edge right here. Um, Delia, yes, the heart design is in the rhinestone kit. There's actually quite a few hearts in there. I love hearts. I love Me hearts too. Any, any, any which way. Embroidered, appliqued, rhinestoned. Is that a word, rhinestoned? Probably not, but I just made it up. <laughs> rhinestones, yeah. Rhinestoned, I said. Rhinestone. Oh, well, I there you go. <laughs> you know me, Cindy. I'm good for twisting my tongue with those things. <laughs> yes. Joanne is the original tongue twister wordsmith. <laughs> Sometimes it, com it comes out the wrong way, though. No BWs on here, you know. <laughs> okay. Laurel, no, I have not done rhinestones with the BES4 group yet. Oh, Molly, I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. It is looking good. You so, ready for uh, the next? Yeah, I'll just base across here because okay. you have to do that. Um, Speed Demon. Oh, I don't even have my machine on the fastest. Someone Angela, asked. I forgot to mention something. Oh, no. Don't tell me I wasn't supposed to baste. No, you're good. If you wanted to top stitch above and below the zipper, you could. It's optional. Oh. Um, no, I'm good. Yeah, I'm going to skip it too. Okay, you ready for the next step? Yeah. Okay, we're going to take that lining piece. Let me bring your screen up. Hold on one sec here. Okay. Well, actually, Which we want to let this down. Let your cash pocket down on the back. Oh, hey, wait. Jan said I forgot something. Stitch what? along the top line you drew inside of your pocket. Oh, oh you didn't do that? No, I didn't do that. Oh, thank you, Jan. Wow. Sure glad you girls are paying attention. All right, let me bring your comments down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. All I right. Want to see that. Want another show and tell while you're doing that, Angela? Um, no, because it's going to take one second, and okay. then I'm going to doing and then we'll do a so show and tell no messing around on this thing <laughs> except yeah, that's I do thread on my black which i will pull that out that little guy right there has to go but now is that good now yeah all well, that's right an important step yeah you think my whole all my business cards would be on the floor like my 
phone out of my pocket. <laughs> All right, Molly, let, show me what's next, and then I'm going to bring Joanne up. Okay, pull your cash bucket down in the back. Okay. And move to the front. Mm -hmm. Unzip your zipper halfway. Okay. Very important. Place your lining fabric for the lower pocket face down, good side down, on top of this piece, lining up the lower edges. And then we're going to stitch from here to here, just on the curves. There's two curves. Okay, so we're only going to stitch the curves. Right. And then you're going to trim them, do a little clipping, and then this piece will get turned right side out. Okay, so let me just double check. Hold on a sec. Make sure this is right. So I have my piece here. And I've opened my zipper halfway. And I'm going to take this like this. And boy, I really Line it up along the bottom. Okay. And then you I'm just going to. some excess fabric. Yeah. But follow those curves. And then you're going to trim off your zipper and your excess fabric. Okay. I can handle that. So I. Okay. I'm going to bring, because you guys don't need to watch me so that, where is, I'll bring, uh, was it Joanne that wanted to pop in? Yeah, I can pop in. Okay, all you. All right, I'll bring it, put another apron on. All right, this one, um, Cindy's going to recognize this one, because we worked at a show together, and we were uh, told to uh, make an apron and decorate it however we want, but we needed our names on it, so... Cindy gave me this beautiful pink trim to add to it so that it coordinated and matched real good. So this is just a blank apron. Speaking of hearts, that's so cute. Yeah. So what's fun about this is this heart shape, this heart applique, is done using one of the brother frame shapes that are built in. And, you know, every single brother embroidery machine from the entry to the top and everything in between has frame shapes built in. And the heart is one of my favorite ones. You can actually turn any of those frame shapes into an applique. So we've done that a few different times on, on some different blogs. If you search for it, if you can't find it, just uh, shoot me a private message or send me an email and I'll, I'll give you on um, directions right, right to it. But that is really fun because you get, you know, you can stitch those just as an outline, but if you add fabric to it, you could create a whole applique shape with that. And it's, it, you know, it's fun sometimes to just buy a blank apron and add all the fun things to it, add some little designs, add some trim, add some lace, and make something totally, totally beautiful out of something that was normally totally blank and boring. Yeah, that was the apron challenge that I fell down the steps and ended up burning my heat transfer material, scorching my fabric. And, That's and right. my heat I transfer remember material. that. Yeah. We were working at a show in uh, California. Yep. Yeah, Busted I mean, my knees up good falling down those stairs. Yeah, but you, I saved the dog. That was all important. Um, Lois, the gemstones, yes, you could use a, um, a metal iron to put them in one at a time. Go ahead, uh, Angel. That doesn't, no, I'm laughing. That doesn't, you fell down the stairs and what happened? I had the dog in my hands. I fell down the stairs. I was, I had the heat press. I was running downstairs real quick and I had the heat press on and I had had the timer on it and I thought I could be back upstairs. And in the meantime, I fell down the stairs, scorched the apron and said, oh, well. That does not sound good. I remember okay. that. I'm that supposed wasn't to trim fun. This, right? Molly. I think that's why. I think that's why you had so much extra trim, Cindy, and you were able to give it to me. <laughs> uh, yes, trim. It was perfect. It matched curves. mine perfect. I, I did have a couple of people say, "I think you heat. I think you melted your heat transfer material a little long at the show." I said, "Yeah, I kind of fell downstairs. Oh well." <laughs> All right, I got her trimmed, and okay. I hope I cut my zipper the wrong way. No, I'm good. Okay. Flip it or press it, flip it or flip it and press it. Flip it and then press it. Oh, look at how cute this is. This is really coming it's together. together. Whenever you do the flip with all the linings, that's when you like hold your breath and go, <gasps> is it everything in place? Yay. <laughs> like it's when so you nice when it's all lined like that too, because it looks good on both sides. Yeah, look at it, covered up all that yeah. ugly stuff. Wonderful. Yeah, I told you that wouldn't matter. 
I really didn't have to finish the edges on that pocket because it's hidden. Unless I wanted, you know, unless I just wanted to make it a little bit more secure. Right. All right, what's next, Molly? I'm pressing as you're talking. Okay, we're gonna lay out the piece we did in the beginning, the main fabric piece. Oh, the front of the apron. Am I supposed to stitch on this or anything? Like top stitch on those curves or just leave it? That's up to you, Angela. It okay. doesn't have to be. I will say though, I'm using the clapper when I'm pressing this and it makes it like a crisp curve, a super crisp curve. Yeah, I cannot even <clears throat> sew without my clapper. It looks good. Okay, so I got her done. I got her done. There you go. Okay, so I need my big piece, you said? Uh-huh. Okay. Lay it out and then pin if you need to. And we're going to baste it along the bottom and along the top. This top piece goes with, gets stitched within your waist lines. It's going to be hidden. Okay. So I wish. Okay, so... Um, I, I got a squirrel for a second. Um, so I'm laying it just like that and I stitch right across the top. And along finger. the bottom, just to hold it in place. Show your fingers on it one more time, just so I can see. Okay, stitch up here, just to hold it in place. And then okay. stitch down here. On each side, all the way around. Okay. All the way around, just to just to hold it in place. So I think that, I think it's looking pretty good, what do you guys think? Those, the colors and the print together are just really, really starting to pop. Isn't it great? So, okay, I'll stitch across here and then just around here. And um, yeah. I'll take you guys over to the sewing machine just to watch part of this, and then I'll bring you girls back up. Oops, wrong one. I always forget which one the camera is. Uh, Catherine, eye broidery was the site for um, the top of uh, Joanne's first apron. Well, actually, that the... That's a the on the top is a free design, so I'll have that posted okay. a link on my website, and then the rest of them that coordinate are on embroidery. Those are uh, red work designs. If you search for red work on the embroidery site, you'll find all of them, but you won't find the free one unless you go to my website because I'll be able to link you to the archives for that. Okay, does that make we sense? All have Donna, private message, uh, Molly, about where the pink snaps came from. All right. So I think I've got this part in place. And okay, then I the next thing. You said just go across this top right here. Just real quick. Yeah, just, yeah. It's like a, hardly an eighth of an inch, but it's there. Yeah. We're gonna put the key loops on next. Um, I didn't do my key loops. Okay, well, we'll just talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> so what you would do at this point is decide how many and where you wanna put your key loops. Remember, you're gonna have a half inch seam allowance over here, so you don't wanna go too far over this way, but you're okay. gonna put them, make sure that they are within your waistline, your waist markings, and then just sew them in here somewhere within that line. I'm going to have two. I'm not going to sew it right now, but that's that's where mine are going to go. So okay, Molly, then, mm -hmm. what I'm going to have you do is show us, because I didn't realize it's already almost one o'clock. Our hour's almost up. So I want to do is um, have you talk me through everything that's left. I'll do it okay. live next week, but I might work on some of it this weekend. And I know a lot of people want to finish theirs. So yeah. Um, it's easy was. from here on out. You would just show us what's next, and uh, then everybody can come back and take notes. Okay, so once you've stitched your key loops on, then you're going to place this waist strip right here and do some top stitching at the top and the bottom. Put that, and that also kind of hides this. Then we're going to take the lining for the main piece face down over the entire project. I even, I even know where that piece is. <laughs> oh, awesome. And then you're going to stitch around the outside, but not the top. Leave the top open. Stitch all the way around a half an inch. And then turn it right side out, and you're going to end up with an open spot at the top. So in that open spot, excuse me, that's where you're going to start installing your neck strap. Oh, yeah, which we sewed on day one for those of you that are just joining. Yeah. So you're going to have a seam here and here. 
you're going to stitch this a half inch down right here. And then we have kind of a, a tube here. And once those get stitched in, we're going to close that tube like this. And so it's going to end up looking something like this. That's going to look good. Yeah. Then you top stitch across there. That closes your tube. And if you would like to, you top stitch around the entire project on the front. And the last thing is to install the waist strap. So you find the center of your waist strap, find the center of your apron, match those up, lay it across, and then top stitch all around here on the apron front. And you're done. Oh my gosh, I love that. So we've already done all of the, well, we've already, I should say, we've already sewed pretty much all of the harder pieces. So I we've already did all of the, the belts and everything. So basically I just have to go get my keychains finished, which I didn't do the other day because I wanted to see if I could find some green vinyl or cork because I thought that looked really mm -hmm. cool. Um, mm -hmm. I also like Reen's uh, measuring tape. I wonder if that would be strong enough to use that for a key card. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that would be yeah. fun. That's yeah. a fun idea. Yeah. yeah. I think that would be cool. So I will work on mine this weekend, but you guys got the rest of the steps. Molly, this apron, do you want to come back on screen? I'll leave. I'll, oh, your create uh, her font on there. I saw somebody ask that. It was built into the um, scan and cut. Yep. I believe. Yes. I, think so. I got it right off my scan and cut. So, uh, Molly, does uh, Sandy wants to know do the points on the waist strap go up or down? It doesn't matter. Once you tie it in a bow, no one's going to be able to tell where your points are. Perfect. Uh, where would I get a zipper foot? Well, dot, 98% uh, of the, 99.9% of the time, <laughs> it comes in your sewing machine. So just look in there. It might look a little different than mine, depending on what machine you have. But most of them come, not, I didn't say 100%. I just said 99.9, because .9, there's always that one little odd chance that you don't have one. I think it has an eye on it. I think that foot has an eye. I think so, too. Oh, you guys are good. <laughs> And I'll wait till I see Molly come back up and I'll bring you back up, Molly. Um, I'm everybody's saying good project. All right. So, uh, by the way, while you're answering the last few questions, I'm going to wait till Molly comes up here and then we have a giveaway. We have a brother. Ooh, sweet. Let, let me see. Hold on one second here. Hey, Molly, you back? Yes, I'm back. Molly's back. <laughs> Your room looks so cute. So, um, oh, thank some you. of you guys might not even know this, but all four of us have worked at events together for, gosh, how many years? A lot. Quite a We've been here, so. Yeah, at it's least been a while. Four or five. <laughs> Which is a lot of fun. We're, and I, I know a lot of people in here had mentioned that they had been to some of our events together, so that's very cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let this me just... It's like a uh, reunion. It's almost like a reunion. I know, yeah. except next time you guys are going to make, you girls are going to make the patterns, the, the aprons, and I'm going to watch and let molly <laughs> okay uh here let me just we're gonna draw a winner so today we're drawing for two different things the first prize grand prize is the brother sewing machine and let me just uh open this up here so hold on brother is giving away the Brother XR 3340 machine, which is a great machine. Here, I'll just uh, share the screen real quick so you can see it. Um, and you know, so far, all of our winners have replied, so there's no extras. They replied immediately. And wow. here's, the, here's the contest to enter. It's on my Facebook page, in case you're wondering. You go up to the left and click on contest. And then also when you leave comments in any of these shows. But uh, that's the machine, isn't that great? Yes. Yeah. And um, Brother ships it right to you. And both, we had to draw two winners last week because Joanne, your and my show got canceled because of some unforeseen circumstances, which I hope we get to do again, by the way, because I was really looking forward to it. But we draw, we drew two winners last week and both ladies had machines that were like 20 years old. They were so right. Wow, that's and, wonderful. And I, I don't pick the winner, it's just the software. So, uh, <laughs> so let's see if we can. Just find, got to find the right button because you get extra points on here. If you had shared it with a friend, you get extra points if you've made comments. And I'm going to draw two winners. 
the first winner will win the brother sewing machine. The second winner, I'm giving away a one year membership to the Fashion Sewing Club because wow. this month I gave out a free pair of leggings that everybody has been raving for. And it's just for the club members. So maybe, and if you don't want it, you can pass it on to a friend. <laughs> All right, girls, do the drum roll. <laughs> That's the best I can do. <laughs> You make very good uh, sound effects. <laughs> okay, winner number one that wins the sewing machine uh, says, she said she's been watching the show one to three days every week, which is awesome. Thank you for watching. Her name is, let me download her badge. I love that you can do that. Hold on a second. You just got to wait, wait for it. <laughs> Maybe. Y'all see my baby come in the room? That, did your dog just come in? Yeah. <laughs> she didn't like better, me doing the drum roll. <laughs> you, better, you better hide your um, rhinestones, by the way. Uh, she would not touch it with a 10-foot pole. She She's a good girl. All right. Share screen. There it is. Screened her well. It just takes the software. One second to get that. Yay. Congratulations. Yay. Yay. Won a brother sewing machine. Veronica. And hold on a second. Where did the second one go? That is so exciting. Oh. There's nothing like the smell of a new car and a new machine. <laughs> uh, I agree. Um, somebody, a couple of people have asked where the rhinestone kit's available. You can find it at your local brother dealer usually. Oh yeah. Call them. They would love that. Oh, yeah. you're what my whole software thing I'm looking for. Hold on a second. Sorry. There's a nice picture of Wynn. <laughs> hey Wynn. I've seen that one before. <laughs> I know it's my screensaver. Oh, okay. The software is just reopening. It thought I was finished downloading badges. I was not finished downloading badges. We got one more winner here. Okay, here we go. Winner number two. Just downloaded the badge. And this winner will get a one-year membership to my fashion sewing club. So good luck. And I don't... You've been watching the show every week for um, up to three days as well. Boy, we must have been popular. <laughs> All right, congratulations to Sandy Bone Steel. Woo! Congratulations. Good for you, get Sandy. On your membership to the Fashion Sewing Club. So congrats to you. Enjoy. All right. Well, girls, this was so fun. And your aprons, both of you, well, actually all three of you, have been so inspiring. And Molly, your teaching has been fantastic. So for those that needed to watch from the beginning to end, you can go back. We sewed along the entire week. We're definitely going to have to do something like this again because it was a lot of fun. Now I just need to get my uh, apron finished this weekend. I like, I think I might use it for gardening, except that one's too pretty. I might have to do a second one. <laughs> so uh, I'll just put on the, down below. I know I saw a ton of questions, all of our websites, Brother Sews. Thank you for letting all of us ambassadors and friends take over your page for this entire time, all the way through the end of May. And then we are going to continue on in June, but it'll just be three days a week, not five. So. Uh, some of us might have to go back to work or something. I don't know. <laughs> Everybody's saying congrats. And if you had questions for any of us about different products, you can always message us. So if yeah. it was brother, we mentioned it. Just I know some of you always ask that. And I think, let me just make sure. Uh, Joanne, you might not know this, but tomorrow is, uh, well, you know, it's the It's So Easy Marathon. Mm -hmm. And I decided that we're going to go back in time to season 16. Okay, great. So very Good. two projects on there. So we'll look forward um, to that. We have that starting tomorrow at noon and then Monday at um, four, which normally we have a live show. There's two more episodes of season 16 to keep you guys entertained. So grab your popcorn and join us. Yes. I hope everyone has a great uh, Memorial Day weekend. Uh, yes, indeed. Girls, it was so much fun. And every, brother sewing, friends and family, thanks so much. Have a great weekend, everyone. Happy Bye, sewing. Happy Bye. sewing. <laughs>